Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome to the video. In this particular video, what I want to do is very quickly just um, demonstrate to you guys um, how to create responsive UI using XAML in UWP namely. But some of these concepts you can transpose to obviously other XAML based fronts and um, frameworks like WPF and Win... Oh, I was about to say WinForms, uh, not WinForms, WPF and uh, UWP. But the thing is, uh, there are some controls that are only available on UWP so we're going to be focusing on that alone. So let's get straight into this video. So um, first things first, um, I'm going to just plug in the majority of the overall code first. I'm going to walk through what's going on. And on my website, I actually have some snippets. I'll just quickly put it up now so we can see. Uh, I have a page called Free XAML Packs. And in here, I place some code snippets um, for particular, just really simple UI that I'm just uh, building at the moment. I thought I'd place them in my website. So for example, let's just, let's pick this UWP simple cards layout. I'm gonna just um, expose the file. Let's just select everything, I'm gonna copy it. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to my Visual Studio session. And I'm just literally gonna plug the code, the markup into a grid container. Make a bit of space, there it is. So uh, here we have the user interface has popped up. Uh, everything's here. I made it quite general purpose. So there's there's as little dependency as possible. Um, the UI doesn't actually do anything ex apart from just be on the XAML because I didn't want people downloading functionality that wasn't there, that wouldn't start running unless you tie it to the C-sharp code. So it's just pure XAML basically. And um, the thing about making this UI, uh, I'll go ahead and run it now quickly, hopefully my computer won't be too slow, is that I, I, I'm quite happy with the fact that it's somewhat um, responsive. So when you do change the um, um, the resolution of the window size, the page file, um, the, um, the controls sort of stretch accordingly, they resize accordingly, and that just really gives you some leeway if you're designing your front end. So uh, I'm just buying time for um, Visual Studio to just load. Um, so I'm going to just pause this and then restart it so that it just doesn't waste your time. Okay, so I'm back and um, the XAML is about to load. And here we have the very a very simple XAML uh, kind of template. Uh, I called it like a cards uh, layout because they're kind of like cards. Uh, these buttons don't do anything. Um, this is a text box. You can just, you know, use it input. Very basic stuff here. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing amazing. But the point of this video, uh, one of the points is to actually just demonstrate how to create a responsive user interface. So I just made it into windowed mode. You can tell it kind of retains its form. Um, I wouldn't say maybe 100%, but good enough that if you're just crafting a really simple draft, you can work with this. You can work with something. So it's, it's there and it it works. Obviously, with some um, added touch, you can refine it. And so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And uh, let's get straight into this. So actually, you know what? Because there's so much going on there, why don't we go back? Um, one second. I'm just going to load my website. And I'm gonna actually use the bare bones user interface instead of this one, because there's just a lot less going on. This makes things a lot easier. And as you can tell, the XAML is a lot less. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this. I'm gonna go to my Visual Studio. Just gonna switch screens. And uh, just as simply as I place the other one in, I'm gonna just plug it in. So I'm gonna zoom out because I don't want the scrolling to be too much. There's quite a lot of lines. Uh, where is the view box? And I'm just being careful not to select the grid. Everything is within the grid. So here we go. Uh, I've just imported another template. Uh, it's inside the main grid, so you don't have to do anything to that. And the key here is the fact that I'm using Viewbox. And Viewbox is a control that helps you to retain responsiveness um, across um, different kind of resolutions. So. Uh, my computer is just a little bit slow. Sorry about that. So anyway, I have one main view box, and this view box holds everything. And the thing about view boxes is that you can only hold one child element. And so the only one child element here is the canvas. But what's interesting is that you can put multiple children in a canvas. So you can very easily overcome the hurdle of the view box 
by placing something like um, a, a canvas or a stack panel in the view box and then placing more elements in the sub control. So in this case, let's say I want to make another element perhaps. So I have, let's find some good space. So I have a stack panel here for this main menu bar. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And this is just a very simple UI with just some example kind of stuff, like as if it's like a book front or an e-book front or something like that. Uh, anyway, that's not too important. So I basically have quite a few stack panels and they're kind of next to each other. One on top of each other, one next to each other. So let's just zoom out. And let's say I want to make like another panel here on the right-hand side. So I'm just going to resize oh that's the view box so i'm not going to do that you want to be careful because also this is a good opportunity to explain um you want to be careful with the way you size up the controls because the the um responsiveness is actually part of the xaml itself it the markup takes care of it i haven't done i haven't placed any additional code for that you just want to make sure everything is lined up well so that the algorithm will take care of the scaling without too much trouble so um, I think a good place to start might be just something like underneath this control. So I have my stack panel. And let's say I want to put another stack panel underneath. Okay. So I'm going to grab this one, make some space. About halfway or so. Okay, snap there. So that's fine. And I'm going to make another stack panel. So let's open up a tag. Let's make a stack panel. And I'll give this one a name. Um, I hope you guys can see what I'm writing. I'll zoom in just ever so slightly. I think that should be a little bit better. And so this stack panel, I'll just say um, name. And I'll just say sub stack panel, something simple. And we'll give it um, some dimensions for now. Just an estimate 40 and the width of 40 as well. There it is on the designer view. I'm going to just stretch it out. And I'm going to just drag it down a little bit. Just about that. And I'm not trying to be too, you know, design focused or anything like that. Just want to demonstrate how this works. And I really do like working from the XAML rather than drag and drop from the toolbox, although it does have its place. Um, just saves me a lot of headaches sometimes. So, and you can specify things a lot easier. So background, I, I can't, I'm kind of going with this like light gray theme and I'm kind of digging it. It's really minimalist, uh, light gray, or how can I match this one here? Is that one white, white smoke? I'm not too sure. Let me just have a quick look. I think I, ah, cause there's a scroll view in there. Okay. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about the color. So we have a stack panel. And let's say we want to put some items in here, so like a button. So uh, I'm going to go in here, button, wait for my computer to catch up. Whoops, click on something else. So we, got, we have a simple button, and I'm just going to use the shorthand version of this tag, because I don't want to place anything in particular within the content of the button, just, pop, just like text. And I'm going to say name. And I'll give this button a name. So I'll just say um, sub sub button. I think sub uh, stack button. Just an example name. It's not really important. And I'll just come here. Height. Let's just say 40 again. Width 60. <laughs> Something a little different. And I will just place it out this till it kind of snaps if it snaps that is and i'll just place it up with this and i suppose i could just give it a content hello world simple i'll zoom in a little bit and there's the button now let's just test to see that this is actually responsive with everything else. The stack panel, it, the button's in a stack panel. The stack panel is in a canvas, which is in a view box. So the view box is really the secret ingredient here. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up.
Hopefully it doesn't take too much time. Okay, so the UWP is about to load. Um, and here we, here we are. So here's my button. My kind of placeholder button doesn't do anything when I click it. Uh, I'm going to just um, kind of descale it a little bit. And it retains its form in the control. So it looks really good. Uh, obviously, it's a really simple example. It's nothing that looks professional, I won't say. But it's there. And you have the general idea of what's going on. So uh, thanks for watching this very short tutorial. I thought it would help. Um, I'll leave a link to my website if you're interested in downloading any XAML packs. I'll definitely be updating it with some more interesting samples. Um, so the link will be in the description. And uh, please like and subscribe if you want so, uh, to keep up with some more information. I like to upload videos um, with regards to video games design, uh, C Sharp, and mainly just .NET in general. So I hope you have a great day. Happy New Year's and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, see you next time, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.